We'll just have a. We'll have a. Is this one? Yeah, we'll, we'll have Gennady because uh, Max is here, so we'll have Gennady uh, say a few words here, and then uh, we'll open it up for uh, for questions as well. First of all, thank you very much to my team. Uh, today is a big day for me. I'm very proud because I have unification fight and my first debut in February fight. It's a big step for next, for future, for my story. Thank you, team. Big round of applause. The new IBF champion who just added to his existing belts here. So. Do you want to uh, open up? Uh, Good night, Chris Connor, Cyber Station Radio in Boston. Now, congratulations on your double title. I know you're you're waiting for Cotto Canelo. That's your dream fight. We everybody here wants to see one of those two. What happens if they say no? What happens if they just don't want to fight you? What's your plan B? Not my dream fight. My goal is all the belts in the middle of the division. You know, I want all the belts. It's my plan. It's my plan A. Gennady said, if I could jump in there, that we can't force, and I, I've said this before, we can't force someone to get in the ring with him. But his goal is to unify all the belts. That's his plan A. His plan A, B, and C. So whoever is the champion at the time, that's who he wants to fight. This is a question for Tom and Gennady. You've made clear you want to unify the division, but right now you're also three title defenses away from breaking Wilfredo Gomez's record for knockouts, consecutive knockouts and title defenses, and six defenses away from breaking Bernard Hopkins' record at middleweight. Are those both accomplishments that you want to that you want before you leave the division? Well, I think, you know, I respect Bernard, he's a legend. It's my story. I think mean, it's story for me to be a like long time ago, like old school. It's my story, my first step and my story. Gennady, uh, first of all, I want to thank, thank you for, from all the fans for your big drama show and your team for not disappointing us again. And my question is, when you were in the middle of the fight, when you were in the round three and four, when you were throwing and landing every single jab, when you were throwing and landing every single punch, what were you thinking at that moment? And what do you think about your, what can you say about your performance overall tonight? Thank you. Yeah, I, I feel decent. I feel very good decent. You know, my every jab, I touch. I am a little bit waiting just, you know, like, I want, like, crazy attack, crazy style, like, street fight. No, not this side, not this side. I think David, he's a strong guy, he's a good wearer. No, not this side. I think the wearer have a little bit different boxing technique, different style, like class. Thank you. Congratulations, Gennady. I have two, two questions for you. Um, you talked a little bit about the fact that you'd like to fight the Canelo and Cotto winner. We understand that, and you want the belts. Do you or Tom can maybe answer this also? Do you guys think that if Andy Lee or Billy Joe Saunders ever comes out of that fight, is that a legitimate fight that, that is makeable and that's something you're interested in? Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm a boxer. Yeah. I'm ready. The priority, Dan, is to see who's the winner of November 21. Usually, I'm already <laughs> planning his next fight. But uh, this one will definitely uh, depend on what happens November 21 and then what uh, the winner decides to do. But it's clearly, uh, you know, it's a great fight with uh, Andy Lee and, and Billy Joe Sanders. We have to give Andy Lee a lot of credit because that is one of the few, he is one of the few top middleweights who actually agreed to fight Gennady last year. So we have to give a lot of uh, credit to Andy and if, if he comes out successful, there's no reason for us to believe that he wouldn't agree to fight Gennady again. So I think this type of performance from a marketing standpoint, a financial standpoint, opens up a lot of doors in where we can make those type of offers and get the champions in the ring that we weren't able to get in the previous years. Uh, Gennady, my other question for you over here is, uh, 
you, you, you fought here at Madison Square Garden before, you, you sold out at the StubHub Center. What was it like for you to come into a sold out Madison Square Garden that hasn't had a boxing salad for a fighter that wasn't a Puerto Rican fighter in, I mean, many, many years? I mean, that's, that doesn't happen very often. Oh, I'm very proud. I'm very proud. I'm very happy. It's a big day for me. Uh, Thanks for working on uh, make up box. Uh, I love my friends. Thanks to my friends because people I understand my style. Thanks my team. Uh, yeah, you're right. Today it feels great atmosphere. Amazing atmosphere. So, so. Uh, this is an amazing time for me. I'm very proud.